Okay, so there's just two. Is this a B tier? I don't even fucking know. There's no point. Is there even a point to this bridge if I can just go fucking thin this river in? Stupid. <laughs> Idiot building a bridge. What do you even do that? What a stupid. What a stupid dumb dumb. Uh, I think there's only two. And then you have to carry her all the way up the mountain. And that was one of the sections that he pointed out, and he's like, she, she's talking and saying stupid shit the whole way. And like, while I was doing that, I was like really fucking annoyed out of my mind, because it's it's like, you make that trip, and then you go back down, and then you carry her, and then she says all this stupid shit the whole fucking trip. And not only that, but you have to fight a fucking weird-ass, like, boss just before, so it's like, it's really fucking annoying. The whole fucking thing is annoying. Um, and she's like, I remember being in the womb. And it's like, no, okay, no. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, maybe if you just shut up, you know, that'd be cool. I didn't bring any goddamn fucking... <sighs> I should have brought... Alright, let's hope this isn't too deep. Come on. Alright, there's that. I need to get the flip up. I think there's just the two, right? I have to specifically face this direction. I'm pretty sure there's only two. Alright. The only downside to this is that they might get damaged in the water slightly. The game at times is like very weird and pretentious for no good reason. It's just like, the stuff is really deep, but it's not really all that deep, you know? It's just like, I don't know, a lot of it, it's not, it's not deep exactly. A lot of the stuff just doesn't really make much sense. Um, there's like this other world um, that they call the beach, uh, and it's, I, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's another one of those things that gives me, like, Evangelion vibes, it's kind of like that, it's like, world-ending situation, and fucking, you gotta, you gotta deal with it, <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 just got Evangelion vibes to it. I don't really want to explain it because there's things that really don't make sense. They don't explain, and then the things that that do are that do like make intuitive sense. They over-explain for some reason. I don't know why they did that, but they would like they'd like explain something before, and then you would get there and they would explain it again, as if you like didn't understand and then they would explain it like a third time and be like okay i get this i get this part of it like you've explained this part like a billion times this is stuff that makes intuitive sense that like i understand okay but i don't need to hear this a million times but it's the weird stuff that doesn't i don't know there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense that they never explain and i don't know there's only like two two characters that i really cared about in this and that was uh, Fragile. I like Fragile, this character, um, because they really fleshed her out. And, and they don't just like tell you her backstory as soon as you meet her, right? It's just like, what's this chick? What's she about? Why is she... You gave me an A? You fucking... Why? Why did I only get an A for that? Stop. I don't care. Shut up. Why the hell... They don't only get an A for that. Like, she's got sort of a, uh... Um, she's got a nice little backstory that, that I that I liked. Um, and then the other one was uh, Dead Man. I liked Dead Man a lot. He was played by Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro, I believe. And he was entertaining. I liked him. Oh, I can now fabricate a riot shotgun. Cool, I'm not going to. Uh, but I can. Riot shotgun is a shotgun, but it fires rubber bullets. So, uh, it's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's kind of epic. And those are, like, the only two characters I care about. I don't really care. I could say I care about Sam, but he just doesn't have... 
much personality. He's got a backstory that is explained eventually, but... Um... I, d I don't know. It's not explained very well. There's not much depth to it. It's just like, he used to have a family, and now he doesn't. And that's like it. <laughs> okay. That's his character. And, and then he fell in love with Amelie, which is weird. Because she is like his... He had like a weird mother relationship with Bridget, and Amelie and Bridget are the same person. Um, so... Uh, it's, it's weird, and he met Amelie when he was like fucking... three years old? I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. I think it's supposed to be like compelling and romantic, but it's just like, mm, what the hell? Mm, it's weird. It's like weird, dude. You'd think like you met like he he met this chick and she was like 20 when he met her. She like looks like at least 20, 25, 26, maybe older. And uh Oh fuck, there's one way over there. Oh, they're both here. This is not going to be a problem, but I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can. There's a road up there. Oh boy, that is, that is dangerously close. So when he met her, he was like, he was like six, and she was like twenty. It's like you don't fall in love with somebody that's like, do you? Is that is that normal? I I don't remember falling in love with someone that was that fucking that much older than me and being like, ugh. Like eventually he grows to be the same age as her. You know, he grows up to be just as old as her. But it's weird. I don't know. You would think of them more as like a mother figure. I would think, right? It's more of like a. Like a mother figure, like a, like a, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I just think their relationship is weird, so I don't have much like, I don't know, it's weird. I don't care that much about Sam as a character. He doesn't, uh... Not all that interesting to me. And it's mostly because that's that's it. That's the extent of his personality. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Oh, son of a bitch. Not again. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No, 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 damn it. Damn it, don't, don't. Stop. 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 Alright. Pull that off. Could've been worse. Let me check the condition of my cargo. Fine. So far. So one of the weird things about BTs is that, and this isn't even something, it took me a little while to figure this out, but you don't see them unless you literally stop moving, and then they show up. It's so weird, I don't, I don't know if that was ever explicitly stated to me, but I think it was like, it's just that you're weird, I don't know. And they also, they also make you put in your birthday at the beginning of the game, so, um, they say, like, your ability to detect BTs is somehow based on your birth date, and I don't... I'm not sure. Uh... They said mine wasn't one of the good ones, so I think other people, if you just have a really good birth date, you can just see BTs. You don't even have to... You don't have to have as shitty an experience as I've had. You can just see them. That's pretty cool. So I need to get across this river now. And it would have been easier had I got on this road. 
Uh, but there's a bridge down there. Probably where I should head to. So let's try to run there. Oh, I, that's never happened to me before. Increasing bond, or maybe it has, I don't know, bond level increase? I don't recall that happening, being a thing, until just now. Be weird. Look at how helpful this bridge is, it's got 31,000 likes. It's, that's about as helpful as it gets. Let's check my flippin'... Yeah, container's almost damaged, almost fully damaged. I'm pretty sure there's a mule area right over there, so try to avoid that. Yeah, we're gonna have another time fall. We're heading in back into the tank time. We're heading right back into the time fall there. Uh, sadly, I don't have any more bridges. Shit. But I think I can just run across here. I'm going to try to grab this trike up here. The thing about container repair spray is it doesn't work as well if you're already in a time fall area. Alright, and I can grab this and I don't exactly know how far this road goes. Could go not anywhere close. It absolutely doesn't. It just goes up here, which doesn't help me. What the fuck's happening? No. I was in a BT area apparently. Well, I knew that, I guess, but you know, uh, you know, you know. So this should make it easier to get across here, hopefully. Yep, there we go. <laughs> no problem. And now we just want to get across the bridge, and back to the stock fur, and then hopefully we get an S rank. And if not, uh, I'm gonna call Folly, because that's bullshit, and I did a fucking amazing job, and I want to be recognized for it. Mainly it was thanks to this bridge that somebody left here, but that's... that's... you know, that's... What do you want me to do about that? Oh, generator, thank you. Well, there's a man here. And he smells real good. Hello. That's a cool feature is you can like yell out and people will be like, I'm here. I'm here. Here I am. I don't know why. Oh, fucking so annoying when that happens. Like, okay, stop. <laughs> do you need to do that? Oh, this is one of those things that I wanted to talk about. I can't stop for it, because I want to get a good time. But, like, for whatever reason, you don't get a... You don't get the music player when you're, like, driving around. I feel like that would make the game so much better. Like, it would make this part of the game so much better. I don't know why they don't allow you to do that. You can just listen to the music, and that'd be fucking fantastic. You can only listen to the music inside the hideout? It doesn't make any sense. But then some people can leave, you can leave, like, music on some of the things. I think it's only if you upgrade them, though. Uh, and, like, you just upgrading it so you can place music on it. It's like, okay, great. Fucking, that's what I, that's... That's what I'm gonna spend my time doing, upgrading a fucking structure so I can play music on it, yeah. It's weird, I don't know. It's one of those things, I don't know why they didn't do that. It should be in the game. Let me play music. Let me listen to music while I'm fucking... You can skip this, by the way. Alright, that shuff is fucking immaculate, thank you. All right, nearly halfway there. Holy fuck, this is hellish. Right, Sam? No, I won't. Good work. New order available. I'm gonna have a lot of goddamn footage for this. So, like I was saying uh, a billion years ago, 
Okay, what's this one? Not that one. Uh, this one. Retrieval camera. I, that is in a mule area. They want me to retrieve it from the mule area. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I don't know. That's very deep into mule territory, isn't it? I can try. I can try. I can try. I hate doing stuff in mule areas, though. Ever since they added uh, the... I need more ladders. I really should have blood bags. And I'm gonna bring a uh, non-lethal assault rifle. Just... I'll just bring one, I guess. Smoke grenades. Bring a couple of them. May as well bring six. Uh, I don't have those high capacity blood bags. No, I don't because I fucking fucked it. That's right. Because I quick traveled to Edge Knot. I... No. No, that doesn't make sense. Why don't I have those? Oh, I think they were placed in my private locker and I just never fucking think. Moved them. Um, but I'm gonna just be doing challenge videos and stuff from now on. And, uh, challenge videos in the Every Game Ever series. And I think that's because. There's a lot of reasons for it, um, but I think uh, a good reason for it is because it's, I think for me it's like, those are like the two easiest, the best times to talk about something, uh, or I think is after I've finished something, and then the, the next time would be after, like, at the very start of something, or like the best, the easiest, the times when I find the most to talk about, you know? when I have the most to say about something. And then when you're like in the middle, it's just like, yeah, well, I don't know if I, um, I'm having an okay time, I guess, but I don't really, I don't really have an opinion on this until I get to the end, you know? Hmm. See, that's what I don't get. Like, I'm trying to neutralize that, I, it didn't work. You see? Now they're gonna drive a fucking thing all the way out here, and I'm gonna have a hell of a time. So now I gotta watch out for the thing. Yep, there they are. Or there's one of them. And there's the fucking truck. And this is just what they do. Um, also, did I? I did accept the thing, did I not? I believe so. So, now that that's happened, I'm gonna try... I might have been spotted. Not entirely sure. See, did that neutralize it, or did it activate it? I, f I can't... I can't fucking tell. I don't understand. <laughs> I think that activated it. So I need to fucking book it now, or else they are absolutely gonna see me. This is why I hate mule camps, because they add this feature for some reason. But they add this thing to mule camps, and it's like halfway through the game they add this, um... ...thing where they can just scan for you, so even if I hide, even if I try to stealth through this, like... ...they can see me. You know, they'll just scan for me. Okay, this might be bad. How am I gonna get through this shit? Uh, I'm not entirely certain. Oh, come on, you didn't. You fucking. Are you serious? They found me. Now I just gotta try to fucking escape. If they're gonna be after me. Best thing I can do is try to find some fucking grass to hide in. Problem is I have no fucking clue where it might be. Is this grass over here? Oh, there's some grass over there. And 
let's hope we can get in. Partly my foot footwear is partly ruined. Ah, oh, shit. I lost my boots, did I not? Are they gone? They're gone. I didn't... It's because I, I leaped, and, uh... So the thing here is, it's gonna be a problem because I believe they're gonna... try to scan for me, and I'm not gonna be able to do anything about it. Well, he's got boots. So they seem to know I'm already in here, and they're gonna scan me. Okay, they already fucked me. Apparently, I can't get away. That's that's just one of the things. It's like fucking mule cams are the worst because you just can't do jack shit once you've been found. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I like, I can try to take these guys out as best I can. Am I missing? Yes. On. Die, dude. There I go, I'm dead. Mm. This is the most obnoxious shit in the game. There's literally nothing worse than this one. <laughs> this one sucks. Mostly you just want to avoid this shit, but when the mission requires you to go through mule tank or a mule camp, it's just like there's nothing you can do about it. And then there's this shit, or you're gonna watch the stupid cutscene every single time. It's really great. Skip, skip, skip. <sighs> the way this works is they're gonna take all of my shit. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I've never been a I've never been able to figure that out. How how what you're supposed to do when like I think you're just supposed to somehow stealth through it. But I'm just like you saw me trying. I don't know how they spotted me because it was in the fucking grass. But it's like there's no easy way to take people out. It just sucks. So now I'm all the way out here. And they took all my shit. So, uh, it's really great. Um... Yeah, so that's that's that, so we're gonna keep trying. I don't know if there's a time limit between me... What sucks about this is that the fucking post box is over here. It's over here. On the other fucking side. And it's like, oh, well, I don't need to go around. Well, the mule campsite extends all around here. I don't know why it's not marked, by the way. Like, this one's marked. Well, this one's just not, it's just not marked, even though it literally is a mule campsite. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, there's no good way to deal with this. There's a zip line there, or here. Um, it doesn't connect to anything. I just have to sneak in, like, as, as I would, I guess. As you do. Maybe it would be easier to... Let's see, fucking... Like, how, what? Like, what do you... That's the shit, that's the shit that I don't get. Like, halfway through the game, they introduced this thing where they can scan you. It used to be they scanned your packages, and then you can get rid of that, but... Now it just scans for you. Uh... And it just fucking blows, because I, I can't, you're, you're supposed to be able to, uh, and they took all my shit, so now I just gotta, I'm just gonna be fucked unless I go back and just get new shit. I think the worst part is, like, when you're actually carrying cargo, because if you have to carry cargo through a mule area, and you get spotted, and, uh, they take it. They fucking take it and they put it in their goddamn post box. Now you have to go through the mule tank, mule thing, unless you just ignore it. You don't have a fucking choice. Because you have to recover the cargo. Now they're shooting at me and I'm fucking screwed because there's like a billion of them and there's absolutely no way I can win this fight. 
I don't get it. <laughs> I feel like it's so fucking stupid. The fucking truck, like, what do you want me to do against that? Exactly. I can't win this fight. I hope you guys can, uh, can see that, but I'm not gonna win this. It's so stupid. I don't know. I, that's like one of my least favorite things about this game is the is the is the mule camps, especially towards this this the second half. They're just intolerable. They're not good. <laughs> There's nothing you can really do. It sucks. I don't like it. Um, the BT camps aren't much better, but uh, let's, let's do this. <laughs> Very funny, they put the bot. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of funny the first time, but I've seen it like a billion times, so it's like, it's, it's not really funny anymore. <laughs> like, there's only two, it's either just the baby's face or... Anyways. As you can see... Also, my stamina is completely, I don't know, pretty much at zero right now. Also, my footwear is completely destroyed, so... I'm having a hell of a time, let me tell you. Oh, actually, that's all my shit over there. Right fucking there. Wow, I don't think I've ever actually been in a situation where I've had my footwear completely destroyed. But this is, this blows. It's just like... Yeah, I can't run. He's just gonna walk slowly, like, really? That's how this is gonna go? That's really fun. Love that. <sighs> I guess that's the big thing about it, is, like, the idea of difficulty and, like, punishing you is just to make you as... just to inconvenience you more, you know? It's never, like... Nothing much feels like a super fair or, like, engaging challenge. It's just like, here, let me put shit in your way that you're not... that, 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 that just makes you go slower, <laughs> you know? It's not really good. And, okay, I don't know why this is happening, but it's very annoying. Please go, thank you. So I have mixed feelings, as I said. like. I think the best part of this game is in the uh, is in the very like chill, relaxing delivery stuff. But once you put in, you know, once there's like oh there's a BT thing in the way or oh there's a meal camp in the way, it's like okay that's that fucking that's not fun. That's no fun. I'd rather not do that. So I could try to do this again. I really don't want to, but I definitely need to get footwear. So, maybe I'll just give this up and uh, try to go somewhere else. Alright, what would be the easiest? We're not, that's not that one, not that one, not that one. Why don't we go back up to Mountain Nut City? Uh, the trip here was not. I'm pretty sure I didn't uh, make the. I didn't get an S rank on the way here, I don't think. I think I fucked up. Because I don't have any stamina, so I can drink from the canteen, restore stamina, and eh, actually that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Alright. How is this? Oh, Jesus Christ, this fucking thing. This was not the bike I was using, is it? This thing is fucking nearly destroyed. Oh, I missed the boost thing somehow. People can just place boost things. Oh, that's something I should have done at that one place where I was struggling to get the thing on. Oh, that's right, there's a BT fucking area, isn't there? Cool is if there was a. Is it why? There's not. 
Thank you, Thunderbolt. I should have liked it. I feel bad, but sometimes I forget to do that, and uh, you know, whatever. There's a truck there. Now, if I remember correctly, just getting to the bridge should be all we need to do. Well, there, there's a, there's a. Every single time, gotta watch this cutscene. Thing starts, goes. Thing beeps a little bit. So this is what BB does, by the way. This is BB's entire function. Is just to uh, in, just to show you where the BTs are. That's all it does. It's a weird thing. It's um, it's like a baby, but not a, a baby. It's like a child that's like not real. It's like got a. It's it's in between like being a real child and being like a not child. It's like a bridge. They call it a bridge baby because it's like a bridge between between the beach world and the real world or whatever. So uh. Yeah. The weird thing is if, like, uh, if it's... Uh, he gets a connection with him, and then it, like, starts to become a real baby at one point, and then he has to, like, they're like, uh, let me deal with it and make it not a real baby anymore. And he's like, alright, that's probably for the best. Like, oh, like, give me child. It's strange. Go, go, go! I'm really concerned for the state of this truck. Okay, okay, fucking stop. Holy crap. God. Go. This is like halfway through the game as you get to this mountainy area. And then you gotta like drive all the way around the mountain. And it's like just another way to like inconvenience you, make the vehicles somewhat useless. It's just to like Here you go, drive around the mountain. That if you can't take vehicles up there, you gotta have to find a uh, you'll have to find a different way to deal with that problem. That's hard. That's a hard problem. Look at that, we made it. Okay, I love how these things are just here for no reason. Cool. Uh, if you don't give me an S rank for this, I, I might, I might cry. I might actually cry because that was pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, we're halfway there, and it only took us almost three hours. Oh boy. All right, we're going to get through. Thank you. May as well in order to but to keep new order available. There's some really good songs in this by the way. Let me let me let me let me let me slow down for a sec and show you some of the things I like in this game. So there's like this little private room. And uh well, let me just watch a cutscene to get into the private room. This is what I'm saying. Like, the game overloads you with fucking cutscenes for no stupid... no reason. Don't need this many cutscenes. I, I get it's trying to be, like, more cinematic and more immersive or something to, like... Ooh, look at all this stuff. That's three cutscenes I've skipped just to get here. Okay. Let me show you some of the stuff I like today. Alright. So this is all this shit you can look at. Most of it's boring. Uh, you can look at the baby. I I don't care, so I'm not going to. <laughs> um, so you can customize this, which is weird. Uh, you can get these like attachments. I, stabilizer. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. 
Every time you get a new thing, you get a call that explains what the new thing is. Don't care. Um, I have literally... I, 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 I fabricated this equipment once, and I have never changed what I have on the back. I have an extra battery on the back. Actually, the extra... Uh, I don't, can't, I'm not sure if the extra battery is actually helping me. It probably is, but... And then I have six grenade pouches, and I've never made any... It's not like you can expand this or anything, so it's like, that's that's it. That's what I have. I've never changed it. So, that's one level of strategy that's, like, non non-existent. It's not really something... It's cool to have. You can change the color scheme of the outfit, I guess. I don't think I ever... ever... No, maybe you can't. No, you can! I always forget I can wear the hat. And I never wear the hat. Uh, let's see, what color should we make our suit, boys? I always like purple. I'm a big, I'm a big purple. There's no like green. I like green. Oh, there is a green. I like green, but I don't think it looks good on clothes most of the time. I think purple is really nice, so I'm gonna go with purple. That looks really good. That looks really strong. Um, really strong. Really good. We're going with purple. That was fun, wasn't it? That's that, that's about all you can customize on that. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the monster, so if you're expecting me to do that, I'm not going to do... Oh, here's a fun thing you can do. You can go to the sink. You can go to the sink, and uh, you can like, look in the mirror. And you can make like little faces. And stuff. That wasn't really a face, but... You know, most of these are faces. There it is. That one's not really a face either. <laughs> there it is. It does a little tongue. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. There's no reason to do any of this. But you can. You can. <laughs> You can't, well, well, look at that. That was pretty cool, right? Oh, wow. Well, let's, let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, ooh. Oh. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that quirky Norman. He's so silly. <laughs> all right, well, that's enough of that. So you can do that. Uh, that's fun. That is a lot of fun. Um, if you just, like, stare at him, he, like, points at you, weirdly. Or winks at you, I think. Or, yeah, there he goes. He points. I don't know why he does that. He'll, like, just point at things. Or he'll wink. It's very strange. It's, like, the only time there's, like, this weird, like, fourth wall break in the game. I'm trying to... There it is. <laughs> Just like looks at you and winks. Very strange. It just only happens if you just like do nothing. Okay, well he's not really working with me. There it is, there's another wink. I don't know why he does that, he just is so you can use the toilet. Um stop. <laughs> stop. Stop it. Cut it out. Uh, we're not gonna do that. We don't need to. It's kind of a weird thing, because it's like... Alright, well, anyways, let's look at the fucking... Let's look at the table. So you can take monster. You can drink monster. I'm not going to, because there's no... It'll give me stamina, but eh, fuck it. Whatever. You know? You feel me? One of my favorite things this game has is it has a music player here. And this has all the music in the game. Now, the music in the game is actually very decent. Problem is, you don't get to hear it very often, except at very specific points. Uh, one of my favorite songs is Pop Virus down here. Kimi 
Definitely gonna give me copyright claim. I just love the vibe that this, this song gives this game. It's just such a, like, I don't know. Something about this song is just like, it's like, yeah. Alright. Hell yeah. Let's go out. Let's let's go out and fucking deliver some packages, dude. Let's go. Problem is you can only listen to that song in the fucking room. I love that. I love that song, but I, I... Why? Why can you not play songs in the fucking trip? It doesn't make any sense. My god, I feel like I would have... I, my... my feelings about the game would just be improved like at least tenfold because I'm fucking I, all you have to do is put really good music in the in the game and that like that just let's see that's the quickest way to my heart you know that'll just be a, that just improves the game like at least 25% I'd probably be like you know what this is a great game this is a great fucking game just if they, just if you could do that, I bet. I'm that shallow. I'm that easy to please. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! I would actually prefer. Uh, looks like I can just carry this. Fuck it, dude. Cancel. I need to auto arrange. Actually, what is all this? Wow! I have all this shit in storage. Okay, uh, take the power gloves. And... Am I wearing gloves? I guess so. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm happy. I don't need any of this other shit. I have it, but I don't need it. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just gonna run back in because I need a fucking truck. I don't like this truck. I need just another one. Just give me another one. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get an S rank on this unless I have another truck. Uh, let's go to the garage. Does anybody else have a. Oh, here's one. Just benefiting off of other people's generosity. Thank you, random person. For allowing me to use your beautiful truck. Big fan, big fan, big fan. Oh, I love this truck so much. Thank you so much. Ugh. God, I love that truck. Now, what's cool about this, that, is that now somebody just randomly received like 300 likes. And their, their bridge link stat is gonna go way up. It's gonna go way up just because I gave him that many likes for the truck. It's because I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drive straight up a mountain. And it's gonna be fine. Believe you me, it's gonna be fine. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> this is part of the one of the jokes he made was that uh Oh I forgot about this. Oh, there's a BT area right here. I actually just wanna... I don't wanna fight these, so I'm just gonna walk. I don't need to do that until I actually get to it, though. I believe these two vehicles are mine? They might be mine. At least the truck might be.
Fighting the BT, yeah, that truck is definitely mine. The thing about the mountain deliveries is that, uh, it's, I think, snow time fall actually damages my stuff at a higher rate than normal. So we're gonna be going straight up this fucking mountain, it's gonna suck, and we're probably not gonna get an S rank purely because it's a BT area. That's the only reason. It's gonna slow us down, but, you know, there's literally nothing I can do about it. Except to try to go as fast as I can through it, I don't know. So there's a BT somewhere ahead. Oh, uh, there he is. There is that beautiful land. So it's like a lot of it is kind of just out of my hands. There's no, there's no quick or easy way to deal with any of this. This is actually... Oh, there's a ladder here. Very helpful, very nice. Very sweet of this person. Gonna give him as many likes as I can before I get there. Alright, well, we go. <laughs> Gotta remember to crouch. Somebody... Okay. Has marked, has put a here sign for some reason. Thinking that maybe there's a data, oh, there's a data thing there. Well, I'll, I'll grab it. Thank you, Wayne. No, 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 no. Oh, that's the problem. I have to, you have to face it. Okay. Just trying to be nice. The problem is the same button you use to like things is also the button that, uh, that uh, is used to shout really loudly. That's a good design choice. Don't know who came up with that one, but that, wow. Gee, gee whiz, that's really good. Oh, fuck. I can't go through there. I am single-handedly responsible for that. Luckily, if we go straight, okay. Yeah, let's not have that happen too much. Uh, if I go straight up here, I might fall. Good chance. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, this is shitty. Oh, fuck, 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 stop. See, I don't understand why it's saying removed cargo placed on back. Okay, stop. I want to make sure the cargo is not too damaged now. It's not damaged at all. So was there always just two, three? I don't understand. 1.8, 1.8, 1.8. Oh, here's the other one. Okay, 14. Uh, I think that's all of it, sure. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna fall off this mountain. Holy hell, alright. I just wanna drop down here and don't fucking die, please. Here's the thing. If I can get up here, there is a. I see. Uh, yeah, there's a fucking zip line over there. I might be able to use. So let's see if I'm close enough to do that. Yes, I am. Cool. 
I'm gonna do that. I was watching the, uh, I watched the Game Awards, and uh, this game actually won best, best music and soundtrack, I believe. It's funny because it, uh, it does, like the music in this game is good. I guess, I guess I already said this, but like you don't get to hear it very much. <laughs> That's part of the problem. This game has like a million problems, like a million fucking problems. And like, there's only a couple things that I really like about it. Like, there are there are some good things about it that are that are that are genuinely good. But there's so many things in it that are genuinely bad. Okay, 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 okay. Also, I believe. Oh God! Oh God! I placed that, uh, that is my structure right there, that fucking thing. It's supposed to be a shelter, but, because there's, there weren't, there's literally no shelters around here, so I placed it there because I thought it would be helpful, but nobody's finished it. And I can't, can't honestly believe it. Why? Why would they not, why would they not? I don't know why I can't run right now, but it won't let me. Well, this is literally where we need to be. This is Hartman's lab, this is where Hartman- Hartman I liked as a character, I guess. He's kind of interesting, kind of quirky. But he was one of those ones that has just a bizarre fucking backstory, it's just like... He's just like really eccentric, and it's like, okay, that's a bit, a bit much, so why are we throwing this weird uh, eccentric character at, at me at the end of the game, like, mm -hmm. I was trying to like my own sign there, that's embarrassing. Okay, here you go. I hope you are happy with that. I think it was very good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was good. Oh yeah. Did I get the one trophy for the ten? It was one for ten, right? Oh, in every single category. In all categories. Oh shit. Wait a second. So in, in, wait a second, what is that? I thought it was just 20 altogether. Hey, why do I want that? Thank you for your continued. Ah, uh, I might, I might be, um, this might take a fucking shit ton longer than... So what are the categories? I don't even know what the fucking categories are. <sighs> See, people always ask me why I'm so hard to reach all the time. They're like, why don't you ever answer your phone? It's because I most, because I lose my phone like every 20 minutes. I have to spend like half an hour finding it. I got a phone call, by the way. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, mm. uh, my friend called me. Well, <laughs> that's fine. I was planning, I was actually thinking about hanging out with him this weekend, so maybe I'll do that. It won't be until tomorrow, so hopefully we can hang out tomorrow. But he didn't send me a message or anything, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um, death Stranding Delivery <laughs> Categories. After starting each premium delivery, it is best to manually save the game, because it is much easier to mess them up or get a lower grade. What do you mean? But you can do them as many times as you want, right? I don't think you can run out of deliveries. Premium deliveries are give you more likes. <laughs> this stupid fucking website. They're like, more information can be found in our trophy guide, and then the, their trophy guide isn't a fucking link to the trophy guide. Like, how do you want it? I'm just gonna leave your website because I'm not, I can't be bothered to fucking try to figure out how to 
find your stupid trophy gun. Flip. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry that there's nothing on your screen except for this fucking blah 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 blah. Somebody on Reddit fucking linked this stupid guide. Let's see what facilities you haven't found yet. There are 39 facilities. You get most of them automatically. The rest, so you know, level them all up, up to 5 stars and combine it with the 80 premium deliveries. After this story, there are no more forced enemy encounters, so hard difficulty is no different from fairy. That's not even true. That's, that's fucking provably at fault. For deliveries, you won't notice a difference between the difficulties. Fucking wrong <laughs> at the end of the game it's it i guess it's not different from very easy in that the diff okay but it's fucking harder at the end of the game all right this is telling me to make zip lines everywhere it's telling me to level up every facility when you scroll over a standard order at a terminal Check out the icon behind the quest name to see what category it belongs to. Condition focused. Quantity focused. Uh, condition, no, it's condition focused. Okay, what is this one? The, and then there's a miscellaneous, and this one's delivery time. Okay. Where to keep track of progress? You can keep track of this under world map, world map, bridge links, X on your PSN ID, orders, types of premium delivery completed. Okay. I see. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh no. Okay, well this is gonna take like a long, 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 long time. Oh boy. Okay, so I have to do 20 in each of these categories. I thought it was gonna be 20 all together. It's 20 in all four of these categories. So um, towards the middle of my screen, you'll see types of premium delivery completed with an evaluation of Legends of Legends. And you'll see the four categories there. The most we've done is the condition focused. Then we go to quantity focused orders, miscellaneous focused, and delivery time. I have to get 20 of all of those. In all of those, which is 80, no, yes, 80. 80 total premium deliveries. Holy fuck. That is going to take... Uh, a ridiculous amount of time. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna say for now that I'm gonna leave this here. And if anybody actually wants me to do this, you'll have to let me know. <laughs> uh, like, you know, like the video. That's the easiest way to let me know. You can leave a comment as well, but I'd prefer it if you liked the video. <laughs> I would just prefer that. <laughs> uh, and I guess if people want me to do that, I'll try to do it. It'll take fucking forever. It'll be a complete series, I guess, but um, yeah, it's gonna take fucking forever. I th I I. When I started this, I didn't think it would take this long. I didn't think it was going to be this. I thought it was just up to 20. And I'm like, okay, that'll that'll take a fair bit of time, but not a ridiculous amount. This is going to take a ridiculous amount. 